So it's now my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Courtney Lee, an alumna from the class of 2017 right here at Curry College, who currently serves as the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope Social Media Lead at NASA, at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Pretty cool. In this role, Courtney leads the Influencer Engagement Program and helps manage media campaigns that help connect scientists, engineers, and astronauts to media outlets all over the world. It's a big job, and Courtney is having a big impact. Before this ceremony, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Courtney and having the chance to spend a little time with her, and she's a, a very impressive woman. As members of the Curry community, we are extremely proud of you, Courtney, and we are honored and grateful that you've taken the time to be here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Courtney Lee. Hey. <laughs> so I want to start by thanking Curry College for allowing me to speak to you all today. I have rewritten the speech so many times this past week. I didn't know how I wanted to start it. I had so much knowledge and information I wanted to share with you guys. So I decided to take a quote from one of the best introductions of all time. So here's a little story all about how my life got twisted, <laughs> turned upside down. But I'd like to take a minute to sit right there to tell you how I became the class of 2027's convocation speaker. <laughs> I was trying to get through that without laughing, but it was real hard. That's from Freshman to Bel Air, if people didn't know. So, my name is Courtney Lee. I am the social media lead and outreach support for NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. And if you were to ask me 10 years ago when I was in y'all's seat back in 2013, if I would be working at NASA, I would have said you guys were from another planet. <laughs> but because of the mindset I adopted at Curry of taking chances and never being afraid to ask questions, I am now in a career that I enjoy. While I was writing the speech, I was trying to think back to my convocation, and I don't really remember what was said, but I remember how I felt. I was scared, nervous. I was 800 miles away from my home, and I have family in the area, but I didn't know anyone who was attending Curry. You always hear that college is the start to the rest of your life, which is something that is kind of scary, but it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous. Things that are meaningful and important to us are often scary. And sometimes it's not about getting over the fear, but using it to get through whatever you are trying to accomplish. While at Curry, I wanted to make the most out of my experience. Even though it was scary, I wanted to try new things. I won't lie. The first semester, I never left my dorm only to go to classes, and I ate so much ramen that it wasn't until like two years ago that I started eating ramen again. But it was after winter break, I told myself I needed to give it the good old college try. I joined clubs like SGA and student entertainment and events, which was my favorite. I became president my sophomore year and stayed until I graduated. I had jobs on campus at the student center at the front desk, as well as the um, event coordinator, as, and I had a job in the alumni office. I did numerous internships, including Boston 25, and I also got to work on a Super Bowl commercial with Tom Brady, which was a lot of fun. Through all those experiences, I was able to make lasting friendships and connections. After Curry, I want to follow in my advisor's footsteps, Professor Jerry Gibbs, and attended American University to receive my master's in reporting on public affairs with a concentration in broadcast journalism. It wasn't until after I graduated that I realized I didn't want to do that, which was a very expensive lesson learned, but I'm glad I learned it. Um, even though I felt like this wasn't the career for me, I was still applying for TV jobs, so I thought maybe if I got into the field, I might enjoy it a little bit more. I actually got offered an anchoring position in Michigan, but at the same time, I noticed that NASA had a newsroom position open for their internship. I didn't even know NASA had a newsroom, so I, and the last science class I took was in high school, so I didn't think it would be a good fit, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to try. So fun fact, I couldn't even get through the application process because I just graduated grad school and you had to be an active student to participate in the program. But I didn't want that to deter me from at least trying. So I found the executive producer's email and I emailed him directly with my resume and my website saying I would love this opportunity. 
The next day he called me and was like, I like your initiative. And he's like, let's figure out another way. So we like pretended I was a little student to get through the website. And then a week later, he offered me the position. And then nine months later, I became full time. And another fun fact is the resume I applied for at NASA was pink because I was in my Elle Woods era, you know? Um, so because of the chances I took, I was able to open a door I didn't know existed. I tell you this story because I hope to inspire you all to not be afraid to try new things. You may succeed, you may fail, but you never know unless you try. Like they say, shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll end up amongst the stars. So to close out my TED Talk, I want to leave you with some key advice. Join clubs. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Please wear shower shoes and have fun. Thank you. Thank you.